Most normal people probably keep their silverware, you know, like forks, spoons, knives, neatly tucked away in a drawer. But being the thrifty crafter that I am, I just use glass jars to store them inside one of the bottom cabinets. And it worked for a while. But recently two of the jars broke while putting the silverware away after a spin through the dishwasher and Danny gave me a dramatic speech about how we needed something better than those silly glass jars. So I made a little wooden flatware caddy with these cute metal handles. I had seen one similar online somewhere and really thought that the metal handles were cool. So if you want to see how it came together, keep watching. This project was sponsored by the Home Depot and is part of the Prospective program. I made this caddy out of walnut. If you remember a few projects ago, I mentioned that a coworker of mine gave me a stack of roughs on walnut earlier this year. I've been slowly working my way through it and that's what I wanted to use for this project. So the first thing I needed to do was plane it all down smooth and flat. Then I trimmed it down on my miter saw and cleaned up the edges on the table saw. I ripped the boards down to a final width of six and a half inches wide to make this caddy. Then I brought the wood to the miter saw to cut down my pieces. I cut two long sides to 16 inches, two short sides to six and a half inches, and one bottom piece to 14 and a half inches. Then I cut a few divider pieces to fit inside the box. I dry fit all of my pieces together to make sure everything fit well, then remember that the middle pieces needed to be trimmed shorter to fit. So I marked where to trim and I trimmed the short pieces on the miter saw and the longer pieces on the table saw. After test fitting again, I was ready to glue right after I gave the pieces a good sanding. I glued up the middle dividers first, then assembled the rest of the box around it. So I applied wood glue to the short pieces and evenly spaced them out and clamped making sure to keep it square to the long divider piece. I applied glue along the bottom of this divider assembly and clamped it onto the bottom of the box. While that glue was drying, I moved on to working on the handles. I made these handles out of three quarter inch wide and an eighth inch thick steel flat stock. I had a couple pieces to work with to make two handles. I set them on top of one of the short side pieces of the caddy to get an idea of where I wanted to put the bins in it and then I marked. I will trim these later so I wasn't worried about centering the marks on the steel or anything. Then I lined up one of the marks with the edge of my workbench, clamped it down, and carefully bent it along this line. I pulled this away from the workbench about one inch, clamped again, and then bent it back up the other way to give me one side of my handle. I did the same on the other side where I had marked to give me a rough handle shape. I repeated this process for the second handle until I had two almost identical handles, then move back to the glue up. I hate my video camera and I think the feeling is mutual because it corrupted the footage of me gluing the rest of the sides of the caddy at this point, but hopefully you can get an idea here. I just applied glue to all the joints where one wood would meet another and glued and clamped the sides around the divider to complete the caddy. While that glue dried, I moved back to the handles. I centered the bins across the sides of the box and marked where to trim them to be flush. Then I clamped them down to the workbench and installed my Diablo Steel Demon saw blade into my circular saw. I'm not a metal worker by any means, but it's nice to have a good way to cut metal when I need to besides just using a hacksaw. This one cuts steel clean and with minimal sparks, which is really nice since this is a wood shop full of sawdust. I use my circular saw and this steel demon blade to trim the handles down along the marks on each side. To attach these handles, I was using one and a quarter inch lag screws. So I drilled a hole just big enough for this screw to fit through into each end of each handle. Now 
Then I spray painted the handles and the lag screws with this new rose gold color spray paint. I thought that would look really good with the walnut. While the paint dried, I removed the caddy from the clamps and gave it a final sanding to remove any extra glue squeeze out. And then I applied a simple beeswax finish along the outside and inside of the caddy. Now it's time to finish this up. I brought the handles over and prepared to install them. For this, I used this Husky thin wall deep socket set in my drill. I pre-drilled holes into the walnut, then drove the lag bolt in to attach the handles. It's nice that this set works with my drill and driver so I don't have to use a ratchet to drive the bolts like this. And now it's finished. I brought it inside and trashed the old glass jars and now we don't risk injury when unloading the dishwasher. Besides being safer than storing silverware in glass jars, I also think it's much nicer to look at. And that's enough to make it worth it. So if you'd like to make one for yourself, head over to the link in the description below for all the details. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming next. I'd also love your thoughts in the comments below and a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks so much for watching you guys and until next time, happy building.